Uh, a cargo ship sailing out of Baltimore Harbour, here we see, hit the Whoa, bridge. Oh, and that bridge with cars and people on it collapsed like a sardine can. That is, uh, we're told, one of the world's longest truss steel bridges. So it's a bridge of a certain kind. It's been there for some time. It's called the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Uh, 20 people are missing, at least. Cars have gone into the river. Uh, and uh, one particular captain, I think, is having a very, very bad day. I mean, quite how it managed to collapse when he hit it right over the side, God knows, but what well, a story. It's astonishing, isn't it? You very rarely see a spectacle like that. These are live like pictures, that. by the way, the, of uh, the I mean, that operation. is costing billions, but what we don't know yet is the cost of lives, the casualties involved. There could be up to 20 people and several vehicles in the water. That's according to Baltimore City Fire Department. Um, but we're not going to be getting more information on that, I wouldn't have thought, until much later in the day. But astonishing, you would think, wouldn't you? I mean, I don't know the sort of relative weights and the forces of uh, these two giant sort of megalithic structures, but the idea that a ship going at whatever speed it's going can take down a whole bridge and not just sort of stop the ship and grind to a halt is utterly astonishing. It does sort of call into question the resilience of that particular structure. Um, but, you know, tra tra absolute tragedy, frankly. This is going to be a huge rebuild in Baltimore. And like I said, we don't know if people have lost their lives. One imagines if there were people on that bridge in, in vehicles at the time uh, and that the reports are suggesting there were, that it'd be potentially quite difficult to survive falling into water in a vehicle. But it's, uh, I mean, it's just astonishing, astonishing pictures. Yeah, indeed. And I know Baltimore a bit and that bridge is uh, crucial uh, to that city. Uh, getting around Baltimore is going to be very, very difficult mm. while they rebuild that bridge. But more pressingly, uh, urgent searches going on of the river there. Uh, and uh, the fire brigade, the police, everyone are there. Uh, as we say, up to 20 people, several vehicles are reported to have fallen into the river. Uh, I, I guess the only good uh, thing about this is the timing. It would have been about 1.30 in the morning local time, so at least it wasn't rush hour traffic or anything like this. But someone, people were on the bridge mm. and the search is now going on of the river. How is it when you've got a massive girt vessel like that that you don't know is not going to fit under that bridge? You know, my dad was a car transporter driver and you know the height of your vehicle and you know the height of every single bridge. And Baltimore is a massive port in America, absolutely vital, a huge sort of artery for cargo going into uh, the East Coast. And you would think that any giant vessels bringing cargo in and out of uh, Baltimore port would, would know whether it could fit under that bridge or not. Uh, indeed. Uh, and it's really weird the way it hits the bridge right at the sort of right-hand side as if they're almost in the shallow end of the river. You might have thought it would go right. through the middle. But anyway, uh, this is all speculation. We'll be bringing you much more about mm, this uh, shocking. massive developing story later in the show.